guys. What's up, guys? All right, we're back for uh, Rangers Bruins post game. Uh, we just watched um, Rangers win four nothing. Um, yeah. Anta, uh, Panarin back. Panarin back in the lineup finally after missing nine games. Um, Kincaid gets the start uh, after a terrible game the other night in Boston. Uh, Giorgio gets chased again. Kincaid gets the start. And the Rangers, I mean, there's, I mean we could all talk. The, the Rangers, like, did, did they do anything bad in this game? Like, you guys tell me. Uh, no. Besides the few penalties, like, here and there, um, Rangers played an outstanding road game. I think with a shutout, it's hard to, like, find things wrong. I'm sure yeah. there are, but, like, there's a lot less to pick on. Yeah. Um, I mean, Panarin gets, you know, he gets on the board, he gets some points. It's a bad agenda. What's the bad agenda have? Two? Two points? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. multi point game. Um, Kanjay Miller with a goal. Yeah. Butch Navage with a goal. Ryan Strom with a goal. Right. Who had the fourth goal? Oh, Cryer. Cryer, Cryer yeah. with a fourth goal. Yeah. Uh, so Rangers really showed up here uh, after a tough loss, come back and win 4 nothing against the Bruins. A total turnaround, because now it's 4 uh, it was four nothing last game. Lost, now 4 nothing win. First shutout for Kincaid since 2018. 18, yeah. Yeah, first shutout for Kincaid with the Rangers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Did he win? Is that our first win with him? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, that is yeah, the yeah. First, first start and win. First yeah. win for Kincaid, yeah, yeah. Because he only came in relief. I, I, well, right. that was what we were wondering earlier. Did he start a game? Nah. No. He never started a game. I said no, but you said yes. I and thought he might worse. have started a game. Um, I could be wrong. I think he came I in twice for Georgiev, and then today was his first starting game, I think. Okay. But maybe okay. not. No, you guys might be right. Uh, it's hard because they've been swapping him and Georgiev in and out, so I get I'm right. confused here. Um, but I think that was the right choice, having Kincaid in right in front of the start. Yeah, yep, yep, because uh, now we went to the well with Georgiev twice, and he's letting in three goals, and we've had to chase him twice. Yep. Uh, one against Pittsburgh, and the, and the last one against Boston. So, yeah, no, good move, uh... By the unpopular David Quinn to start Kincaid in that. Um, yeah. And having Panarin back? Yeah, having Panarin back immediately, you watch the game, and you could just tell. Yeah, it changed you, the whole dynamics. Yeah, yeah, you could tell that having Panarin back, uh, especially on the power play, the Rangers didn't get a power play goal. I think they had four chances. But it looked way better than it was. It's the movement. Yeah, yeah the yeah. movement. Uh, the energy, like players skating around, uh, not looking, like you said, lethargic. Yeah. Um, just the energy looked great. Um, he creates opportunity. He does. He finds yeah. he finds the open guy. Yeah. Like, that's the one thing. He quarterbacks that power play. Uh, if you can get open, he's going to find you. Um, that's why that, that – it wasn't a power play goal, but that pass he made to Strom – was ridiculous. I mean, Strom had no chance, or uh, Halak had no chance on that Strom mm -hmm. shot at whatsoever, and it was because of that pass been Aaron made. Uh, so, again, yeah, Green, I'm not sure where they are in the standings, honestly, after losing three. Not I good. I don't know either, you know. Yeah, it's not, it's not great wherever they are, um, but at least it's a fucking win, something. Something about, I think they were nine points behind, because I heard someone saying that this game could potentially be 11 points behind, but it, it's not. They got the two points, so it could they be seven okay. points behind? Maybe? I don't know. Last I, I heard no they were six, but then six. with the, uh, I don't know who lost and won the other night. Right. Right, right. Somebody in the chat was saying, well, the Flyers are rooting for the Rangers. Yes, right. So, um, I'm pulling it up. Tim's looking. Right? So, you got 25 points. 25. Behind the Islanders at 38. Jesus. Oh, wow. The Islanders, have the Islanders are at the top, though, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, well, the Flyers are ahead of us with 25. So, that's why they wanted us to win, because they're chasing the Bruins with 29. We, so, have, we have 25, five yeah. 29, we're so, at 32. Yeah, it's still going to be quite a, it's going to be hard to even catch the Flyers unless the Rangers can start consecutively putting some wins together. If we beat them twice, we'll die. That's, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, we, we have them twice them next, coming right? up next, yeah. Two games, and that, that could well, do it. we win there. we got to win both, yeah. It's possible. Panarin's back. Oh, it's possible. I feel like if well, King they, K plays hard, it's just Last year, remember how they pulled it out at the end of the season, then COVID hit. Right, yeah. right, yeah. He was on a tear. They, they weren't yeah. looking good last year, and then all of a sudden they just exploded. Yeah, they ramped it up. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy yeah. to see the Islanders usually the see them the down with us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> They're <laughs> usually in the basement of stuff. Well, that's before Rangers they had uh, Barzell and Anders Lee and all that shit. Yeah, Lee is out, so. <laughs> okay. And and they're playing the Devils tonight, so what we want is the Devils to win. We want the Devils to win that game yeah, uh, tonight. Maybe they can, but I mean, I, can they though? I, I saw Lee is out. That far ahead. Why do you don't have the Devils win? They get points to catch up with us. I mean, who are the Flyers playing? The Flyers are playing. Are they Caps playing tonight? tonight? I think. Well, we want the Caps to win that. That's what I'm saying. Like it really doesn't, it doesn't matter in this yeah, division. It doesn't. It's, you just don't want any game to go to overtime. You know what? Yeah. Too much math to do. It's too much math, <laughs> and it's it's like kind of un, you're kind of almost in like an unwinnable situation. Yeah. The way that the because like the last thing you want is games going all the time because you're handing out a free points. I've said this so many times. I don't mean to keep saying it, but that's the last thing you want. Uh, and you have to have streaks. Caps at Flyers. Yeah, you, you gotta have seven. And then Penguins at Sabres. Penguins at Sabres. Penguins will probably win that game. It's an easy win. It's an easy win. Easy. Unless the Sabres somehow upset uh, Pittsburgh. No eye cold. He's been out uh, the past couple games. He's been out for life. He's <laughs> been out for whole season. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he's in, he's out. Yeah. Um, they put up a fight the other night. But I, mean, like, I mean, Malkin and, and Crosby are on. They're playing good right now. It's all see, same cliche. Yeah. Like, there's no easy game in this league. You know, like... I mean, the Sabres can still win, you know. Mm -hmm. Just still depends on. Hockey. Yeah, exactly. But as far as the Rangers are concerned, um, there's really not anything bad to talk about this game. It was great. Yeah. A bunch of Rangers put up multi point games. Like you said, Kincaid shut out. Yeah. First since uh, the, uh, 2018. Yeah. And first at, with the Rangers at all. Yeah. First win with first the Rangers. First win with the Rangers. First shutout with the Rangers. First complete game with the Rangers. And they're in here playing hard. It's been a dead looking good. Yeah. It was nice. Saturday yeah. afternoon, hanging out with everybody. It's just a nice, yeah, it was a good, nice it was a good game. game. Yeah. It's a good game. Um, so I guess we'll just leave it at that because... Uh, Oh, yeah, there was one thing I wanted to address before we shut this up. All right, so now with Kincaid posting this shutout, I just want to know everyone's opinion who sees this post game. Um, now, I imagine Georgiev's going to play the next game. Or not Georgiev, Igor, Igor's going to play the next game. Now, who gets the backup role? I mean, do you just chalk it up and say, well, uh, Georgiev had a, had a rough, you know, two starts? Or sort of Kincaid get the backup shot. You know, he posted a shutout. Yep. So I'm curious to know where people stand on that. I don't have a opinion about it yet. I do. What's, what's, yeah. what's that, Mom? Well, I think it's going to be up to Quinn because he knows what's going on with Georgia. Mm -hmm. mm. So he's going to weigh that and on his choice. We don't know, so it's hard for us to say. Right, we're That's speculating. So if he, if he puts in Kincaid, and I'm going to say... Georgiev's got some major troubles going. Okay, okay, I can very, understand that. Very See, I'm just, point. I'm just worried because, like, again, I don't want to take the shot out away from Kincaid, but I don't think the Bruins really came down on him that hard. No, I know what you're saying. He played well. He definitely played well. But I'm talking when you need a goalie to make a, a breakaway save or a flashy glove save. If or, he was bombarded, you don't know if he could. It, it. It, exactly. If he was bombarded, like, like how he's. That the teams have been bombarded before. Like, could he have held up to keep this a shutout? I know last game, and we said that they were up by four by the time he got in there, so they probably weren't as playing hard, but I feel like there was a lot on him last mm. game, too, and he still came through. But you're right, same thing. It wasn't as big of a challenge because right. Boston already knew they were up 4 nothing, so there's no reason to play super crazy hard. And it's also different when you're coming in from the relief of a goalie to be a goalie than starting a game as a mm. goalie. Um, I feel like there's more on the line when you're starting. You're like, I want this one. I'm starting this game. Um, and he also didn't let in any when he got put in. When the Rangers lost for him. He didn't right. let in any goals. Right. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. But, again, yeah. if he was bombarded, is he really going to be the guy to go to? I mean, he's in his 30s. You know, and I know it doesn't seem old, but for a goal, he has practically, practically dead. So... That's just, there's somebody there's something to think about. I want to throw out there like is Kincaid going to be the next backup? You know, Giorgi like like Mom said is maybe Giorgiev is going through troubled times or something. Right. So 
But that's one other thing real quick about Kincaid. Like you said, he's only 31, but he's coming to the end. So every opportunity could be yeah. one of his last. So I know he can play really hard. True. But that doesn't mean he can come through. He can play as hard as he can. And yes, it doesn't mean yes. it's going to be enough. No, yeah, I hear what you're saying. So but, just, just something to you know keep in mind and look forward to as we go into the next game. Um, like I said, 100% I think Igor's getting the start. Yeah. Um, he's clear. Yeah. If he's clear, yeah, if well, he's, he's been on the road trip. I thought we would have seen him by now. Yeah. So they're just playing it extra safe, I guess. Um, yeah. As uh, David Quinn's post game is coming up right now, so yeah, we might pop off and check that out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, just something to keep in mind: a goaltending issue. As far as players on the ice were concerned, that weren't goalies, they looked fine uh, tonight or today. So we'll have to see what Monday. We'll have to see what Monday brings. So yeah. we know how this Rangers team is. Yeah. yeah. So we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, and again, everybody, thanks for hanging thank out. You thanks for watching. Here. Tim, thank you for being Tim, here. Tim, thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah, it was nice to have Tim here. Let's see if we can get Karen in here. Oh, Karen, you get Lucas. Almost got Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Slip it on. Yeah. <laughs> No, not today. But, but yeah, thank yeah. you guys. Yeah, guys, thanks thank for you so much. Out. Have and a great weekend. No matter what, it was a great game. Yeah, great yeah. game. Thanks for everybody hanging out. Yeah. And we'll catch you on Monday. Yeah. All right, peace. Bye.